Hello there, it's Monochrome. Welcome back to another video. This is part two of the series. And today we are going to configure the foot terminal. The biggest configuration thing you have to do on tiling window manager setup is mostly the, uh, the tiling window manager itself. Everything else is quite simple and a lot of work does not need to be put in. So we're gonna start with the terminal. As you can see, this is how it is. Not the best looking terminal of all times, let's be honest. So we're gonna do some small changes. Mostly in our tiling window manager setup, the terminal configuration is 99% just colors and a different font. That's basically it, it's just fonts and different colors. So let's, let's just do that. This is basically the whole config. All you have to do is just uncomment and then change the things that you want to change. That's pretty much it. And I accidentally hit the wrong key binding. Let me just, yeah, you, you saw nothing, you saw nothing, okay. The things you want to change here would be like the font. If you want to use JetPrints, Mono or something like that, you can just change it here. If you want to know what the exact name of the font is, it's very simple. Open up a terminal like usual, then type in, what was it again? Yeah, FC list, and then grep out maybe mono, because terminals require mono fonts to actually work. So <clears throat> let's take uh, an example like this, okay? The name of your font will be well, well, this, as you can see, there is a lot of commas. You don't have to look at the commas. Just take this. For example, here, this is the whole thing between the columns. Yeah, that's the full name of your, that's going to be your full name of the font. My MacBook that is recording audio is actually heating up quite a lot. I'm not sure why, but I hope that audio doesn't get through the microphone because the microphone is also very near to the laptop or well, I'm just going to speak even louder just change the font size I'm gonna switch that to 15 so that it's easier to see on YouTube videos as you can see right now it you no, know, it's much easier uh, we go down and then there is something called padding I prefer a bit of padding As you can see, this is how it would be. There will be a lot of empty space, you know, as padding on top or on all the corners. <clears throat> yeah, this is how it's going to be. Uh, I'm just gonna use 10 as padding, which is, which is nice. It, you don't really need more than that. Then we'll go down and then we'll change the colors. That's pretty much the other thing that you have to do. Alpha is your transparency. One means that it is completely opaque. I prefer 0.8. See, that's pretty much what I like. Did I not? Yeah. So background will be our background color. As you can see, this is a gray color and then this is the proper black color, right? So I'm just going to change that to black and then save and then open, yeah, black. Now we can change the colors. All you have to do is uncomment this and then change the hex to a different value that you like. If you want to know uh, all the form, all the hex values, then search up something like Catpuchin or Dracula, Grubbox, or any of the color schemes that you prefer to use. And then in the list, it should have a hex value. Then that's pretty much it. I'm just going to edit it to the colors that I prefer. If I type in Neo 
fetch the terminal colors are well black and white that's pr pretty much what i prefer just changing these colors to whatever you want is mostly the only thing that you have to do you can change some key bindings here i just prefer the default so i don't know i'm not going to touch any of it so that that's pretty much foot config in a nutshell that's that's all you have to do so <coughs> Oh. that's all you have to do in a way it's very simple and it doesn't really take that much time